in this lecture, we'll try to convert one image that is in RGB to its HSP part. This means we we'll try to convert one RGB image into HSP one. And about the HSB color space in details with its mathematical expressions, I have special lecture on it. So I'm giving the link of that lecture in my in the description box below. You can find it. So if you want to know more, you can go through it. Right. So there I have explained this this part also. That is very interesting, no doubt. If you have interest on image processing, I would like to recommend that please go through that. Now let's come directly to our main task that is HSP. RGB to HSB conversion, that is our color RGB image to each HSB counterpart. How to do that? See, these are the line state, um, in statements, code statement that you need to do that. So you can take a screenshot. I'm going to explain each statement. Now, import matplotly by plot as PLT plot. So we are importing PLT, that is one instead of this matplot lives pi plot and you know this pi plot we use this for plotting our images then next thing import cv2 we know that we are working with open cv so that is cv2 right now next thing you need to do what you need to import that image that means input that your color image which you want to convert into issp1 okay U saturation value. Don't forget it. HSP U saturation value. So image CV2 dot imrit. Let's read that input image. I'm putting it in my image dataset folder of Kaziranga University folder in the C drive. So I'm giving the whole part and the uh, image solution for this task is the girl image. I hope you already know about this image. So that image being read and being stored in this image okay so i'm considering this variable as image you can consider your own one first we have converted into grayscale and about the grayscale conversion in my previous lecture also i have explained this tax so we are using this bgr to gray in the cvt color okay the parameter first parameter is the input image and the next one this function bgr to gray color bgr to gray right so this is being converted into gray version and being stored in gray image this portion you already know next we are plotting this gray version of the image using plot image now the main task of this lecture is to convert to, to ssp format for that we are again using the cvt color but the parameter passed is now bzr to ssp do remember bzr to ssp for the SSB conversion, right? So CV2 color, CVT color, then image that is the input original girl RGB image, then CV2 dot color BZR2 SSB, right? So this image being converted into SSB1 and being stored in SSB image. So this variable SSB image now it is holding the SSB version of our input color image. Let's plot it with this plot image show HSB image. Now let's open your spider so that we can practically show the result. Right. I'm going to open my one. You too. Do it. I have already written down this code statement and I have saved it in the file HSB1.py. I used to give these names like that. So that it is easy to remember which file is actually for what tax, right? So import one by one statement. I'm executing one statement at a time. So first import this pi plot, okay? Plot, then import cv2, okay? Done. Import that image, okay? Let's plot the original image. This is the original image. You, I hope you can clearly see this. Now next gray conversion taken place 
Okay, let's plot the gray version of this original image. This is the gray version, right? Then now the main task of this lecture that is SSB conversion that is being taken place now. Okay, properly executed. So now let's plot the SSB version of our image. So this is the SSB version of our input color image. Okay. So I hope that this statement is clear to you, right? So if any doubt exists, you can ask me. And about my research work, I want to show you some work of mine. See, you can search in Google Scholar by my name, the Debyajoti Bora. Okay, there you find a work of mine that is comparing the performance of L Star V Star and SSB color space with respect to color image segmentation. Yeah, about the color image segmentation and how to do that. I'll explain in some later classes. But why I'm showing this paper to you, you can see that this is being cited by many researchers, uh, of no doubt. Okay, because um, here I have compared the performance of two important color spaces, that is LAB, okay, and SSB. Both are very important color spaces. So, what happened? These two are frequently used in our color image processing tasks, and that's why we need to frequently implement or convert our color images to, into these two types. And obviously, you, about your tasks and a, that is that requirement, actually decide what color space you want. My suggestion is that SSB is a very good choice. No doubt, LAB is also a very good one. But uh, it depends. So see, this is the paper actually comparing the performance of L star SSB color space. I'm going to give the link of this research paper in the comment section on, of this video also in the description box so that you can have an idea about how we have done work on these two color spaces and the comparative study. Right, and there if you want to know more on these two color spaces, that is also being discussed here. Right, so I hope you will find that very interesting because one of my proposed approach for color image segmentation tasks, I have also explained there as a part of that comparative research. So that's it. Have some research on these two color spaces, have some researches on this color image processing, and you face any difficulty, of course, I'll be there to help you. That's it. So, myself, Dr. Divas Divora, signing out for today. So, you guys take care and meet you in the next lecture. Till then, take care. Bye bye.